tournament was slow to arrive as the old Pac-10 conference didn't begin its tournament until 1987, well after most other conferences. The league then stopped the tournament for several years, but the tournament resumed in 2002. Only the top three seeds in the Pac-12 tournament are going to make the NCAA tournament. The teams seeded four through six are looking for answers as they head to Las Vegas. Arizona is the top seed, Oregon is second, Utah third, UCLA fourth, and Arizona State is the fifth seed. Stanford is sixth, Oregon State seventh, California eighth, Washington State ninth, Colorado is 10th, Washington 11th, and USC is the 12th seed. This is a neutral site tournament played in Las Vegas. The first round involves seeds 5 through 12. The top four seeds receive first round buys and begin play in the quarterfinals. The first thing you'll see at the sportsbook is a list of odds including all the teams. You see every team in the tournament listed along with the odds on each team to win it. Keep in mind that the team with the smallest number is the favorite and the team with the biggest number is the biggest underdog. Let's say it's a year where Arizona is going to be the favorite and Utah is going to be the second choice. Every other team will be a sizable underdog. Arizona might be a minus 150 favorite, meaning that you'll have to put down $150 on the Arizona Wildcats to win 100. If they win, you'll get back 250 in total, your 150 stake plus 100 in profits. On the other hand, if you want to wing it and go for a long shot, let's say UCLA, you'll get a bigger payout since they are not expected to win. They might have a price of plus 250, meaning that if you successfully bet $100 on the Bruins to win the tournament, you'll get $250 return. The Arizona Wildcats have been seen as the favorite, while the Utah Utes have been seen as a rather distant second choice and a team that would become favorite only if Arizona loses in the quarterfinals or semifinals, which is not likely. Arizona swept the season series against Utah. Not only that point is worth mulling over though, wrap your mind around the fact that the Wildcats are the only Pac-12 team to beat Utah on the road in each of the last two seasons. Arizona has given Utah its last two home court losses. There's not a lot of depth in the Pac-12 since it is likely to get only three teams into the NCAA tournament. If there's going to be a fourth team, it will be either UCLA or Stanford. Both teams have players, Tony Parker and Kevin Looney for UCLA, Jason Randall for Stanford, who can go off and score a ton of points. They can carry their teams if they get hot for three or four days at the tournament in Las Vegas. The other teams in the conference, such as Cal and Arizona State, are not ready to make a run. This is a tournament in which only alternatives to the top three steeds are Stanford and UCLA. Arizona has been at the top of the league all season. UCLA might pull off an upset, but the Wildcats appear to be the strongest team by far. And don't forget that the Bang the Book Betting Center is your best resource for information before you make your weekly assault on the sportsbooks.